Okay, we've got to talk about the alien bodies presented at the Mexican UFO hearing. I've come across some interesting new information about it, and it's definitely worth discussing. So get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, please share on social media, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay, this is a wild story. I know some of you guys are ready just to move on, and hey, I get it. I totally get it. But we now have you know, a new medical exam, a CT scan that shows these are uh, intact skeletons. Uh, they are not cobbled together pieces. Um, you know, we have some DNA results that suggest that at least one of them is human, which is hard to believe. Uh, so is that contamination? What is that? We don't know. But Jaime is on the case. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson has responded, uh, interestingly, and there's some additional information. So uh, yeah, let's let's just dive in. Here's the this this is from Jaime Masson. This is really interesting. Uh, I wish I could read the letter, but I don't have a translation. But he says uh, the translation of his tweet is the Chamber of Deputies uh, through uh, dip. I can't. I don't know what that word is has carefully requested from the National Autonomous University of Mexico scientific peer review of the biological evidence of possible non-human intelligence presented at the FANA hearing. So there you go, the Chamber of Deputies, I'm not familiar with that body, is requesting uh, additional analysis of these bodies. Not just any investigation, but a scientific peer review. Uh, so I can't wait to see what they find. That's exactly what we need is uh, more science uh, and you know more analysis from credible people of these really intriguing bodies, whatever they ultimately turn out to be. At first, I was leaning very uh, much toward the debunk. It looked like a pretty solid debunk. Uh, but that CT scan uh, really abolished that debunk in my mind. If indeed uh, they were being honest about the results of that CT, can CT scan. And the director of the hospital himself was present during that scan. So I have to assume that it was a legit scan. Uh, we definitely need more eyes on this and more science on it. But as of now, I'm thinking those are intact specimens, not cobbled together hoaxes or dolls uh, made for some ritualistic purpose a uh, thousand years ago. That's not to say there aren't such dolls and such totems. And uh, let's, let's go over this really intriguing post from Open Minded Approach. Uh, the ancient Dogu figurines from Japan are similar to the Nazca mummies from Peru. They are also portrayed with three fingers. Uh, too many coincidences. Let's check that out. What in the world? I mean, that is startlingly similar uh, to the uh, the mummies, the, the alien bodies from Peru, whatever they are, alien, human, hybrids, uh, you know, wh whatever they are, that is shockingly similar. So have these beings then seen, uh, you know, for, for many, many years all across the world? And, you know, maybe there have been figurines based on them. Um, I would love more information about that. But I am, uh, you know, uh, very intrigued by these Dogu figurines. What do you think, guys? Are these legit beings here? And they've been uh, visiting people all over the world for, you know, thousands or tens of thousands of years. And people have made, uh, you know, figurines based on them. I mean... That is, a, that is a shocking similarity right there. It really is. Even Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, has been compelled to comment on these bodies. Let's hear what he has to say. Well, <clears throat> first of all, I like what they did in Mexico. They, they had what they claimed are alien bodies, and they brought it out in front of their Congress. That's better than leaving them in a locked box and saying you and no one else can get to see them. So that's a start. But in science... A, 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 a new truth, an objective truth, is only established when multiple labs can analyze whatever your claim is. When we brought rocks back from the moon, we distributed them to all the labs of the world. So everybody participated in that discovery. So here, bring out samples to others and let other people, skeptical people in other labs, test and this. So either verify it or falsify it, and then we move on. What was your reaction when you saw the images? 
I was surprised because there's if they're from another planet, why do they look so human? They have two eyes, a nose, a mouth, shoulders, hips, femur, a, a rib. Why? Most life on Earth shares DNA in common with us. It looks nothing like us. So how could it somebody? So so that was my first thought. Second, um, any corpses or mummified remains, there is no bone in your nose. It's an open hole into your skull. These aliens have intact noses, okay? If indeed that is their nose, okay? I don't think for sure. So, <laughs> well, so I, oh God, I think that's a fair point. They've got noses. That is interesting. I had never thought about that before. What do you guys think? Is that significant that these remains have noses? But at least he is not dismissing these uh, beings outright, which may in fact be suspicious since he's such a huge debunker. Uh, but, uh, you know, he, he is saying that they need more analysis and that it was the right thing to do to bring these things forward uh, to get more eyes on. And, you know, he may be saying that because it has kind of made a mockery of the whole Mexican UFO hearing and kind of derailed any positive press uh, it would have gotten. Uh, and he may like that, but at the same time, maybe he's being genuine and saying, Hey, if you've got evidence of alien beings, bring it out and let us study it. And I support that. For once, I am in agreement with Neil deGrasse Tyson. One of the most intriguing things about the bodies is the weird powder that is coating these bodies. Well, there has actually been some analysis of this. And I'm going to uh, play it for you. It's not in English, so I'm going to minimize my head uh, so that you can read the subtitles. Pies, pero ahora si yo les muestro a ustedes este conjunto, esto parece un muñeco, pero no es un muñeco. Esta es la momia Luisa, con sus implantes, sus huevos en diferentes posiciones hasta de espaldas. Las momias... Los cuerpos, cuando están tan desecados y no tienen agua en su organismo, el TAC, igual que la resonancia magnética, eh, le cuesta definir lo que son las aristas, eh, todo lo que son las uniones, los cartílagos, las la rótulas, le cuesta definir. Pero a medida que va teniendo ese tipo de, de, de densidad, eh, digamos, de agua, de, de, de tendones, de nervios, de músculos, pues lo, lo descubre mejor. Entonces, demasiado bien están conservadas. Una de las cosas que hemos eh, descubrió el equipo ruso de Konstantin Korovkov es que eh, las muestras que obtuvieron de la momia María, por ejemplo, tenían eh, una sustancia oleosa de un olor muy fuerte y luego tenían encima el polvo de diatomea. Y luego, a más a más, cloruro de cadmio. Y el cloruro de cadmio es un potente veneno que se utiliza incluso para las tinciones, las galvanoplastias, eh, pero también es un gran fungicida, igual que la diatomea. Pero a que no sabían ustedes que el cloruro de cadmio no existe en la Tierra. Como tal no existe, se tiene que fabricar. Y se tiene que fabricar de manera muy, muy, muy sofisticada, que hace mil años era imposible, con ácido clorídico. Entonces, cuidado... Cuidado porque estamos empezando a sumar cosas como las que está comentando el señor Zúñiga, Enrico también aquí con nosotros, y, y tenemos la cuestión de los implantes que me gustaría ahondar un poquito en ello, preguntarle a usted, señor Zúñiga, no quiero que se nos escape así si, por las buenas, sobre la cuestión de los implantes, tenemos el de Josefina y el de Luisa, aquí los puede ver, no sé si ha tenido la oportunidad de ver esta comparativa, Sí, eh, 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 sí, claro, en los cortes que se hizo, el corte que se hizo del implante del pecho de, de Luisa, eh, eso lo visualizamos en el mismo laboratorio de, de tomografía. El radiólogo hizo el corte, eh, pudimos ver, como verán ustedes, no es un metal compacto, sino hay, hay una cavidad eh, interna. No, eh, en, todo el, en, todo el, en todo el cuerpo. So there you go. These beings, whatever they are, if, if they were dolls or, or something like that, if they were created artifacts, uh, it would have been very difficult, uh, according to these uh, people, uh, to have created them a thousand years ago because they just didn't have the ability to do that. Uh, the peoples of the time that we know of, at least, uh, did not have those abilities. Now, of course, we are finding all the time ancient peoples uh, that had abilities that we don't think that they should have had. 
And so maybe this is one more example of that. It is entirely possible. Um, but again, uh, that CT scan was pretty impressive. But whatever the case, it looks like more analysis is coming per uh, Jaime Masson. And yeah, there's even been talk of Abby Loeb getting in on this action and studying these these specimens. I would love that. If, some, if somebody like Avi Loeb with his respectability and his mainstream cred uh, could uh, verify these are intact beings of some sort, uh, that would go a long way to furthering this discussion in the public consciousness. Now he may find out that they are simply humans with mutations. Uh, you know, which is entirely possible. I think Gary Nolan reached the same conclusion about a different uh, set of uh, ancient remains, those little, little mummies, uh, even little, littler than these guys. But at the same time, these things have eggs. They have eggs. That is not something that humans have. Not like this. I would love some investigation or study done on these eggs. Now, maybe they're just so fossilized you can't tell anything from them, but that definitely seems like an intriguing place to start studying if there is something that can be studied from those eggs. Because if there's a little alien embry embryo in there or a hybrid or something in there, uh, you know, that would be a game changer for this conversation. But to wrap it up, there's going to be new analysis done on these uh, beings uh, that's going to be peer reviewed, which is very exciting. And I, uh, you know, will keep my eyes on this story. If you see something about it before I do, please let me know. And let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Do you still think it's a doll or a relic from a thousand years ago or a hoax uh, cooked, out, cooked up by Jaime Masson and, and the other guys uh, or something like that? Or are you persuaded uh, that it may be something more anomalous? Now, I'm still on the fence about it. I don't want to say that I believe wholeheartedly that these are aliens or non-humans, uh, but I, am, uh, I do find the evidence very compelling that they may, in fact, be genuinely anomalous in some sense. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. I sure appreciate it. Smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. You don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media. There's Facebook and Twitter links below. I would love to see you guys there. If you wanted to support Cosmic Road in a bigger way, please consider becoming a channel member. See the first link in the description below. Channel members are rock stars, and I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you. Meanwhile, there's plenty of other videos to check out on the channel, and I'll see you next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road, signing out.